it's New Year's Eve again, and do you ever wonder where the time has gone? I mean, it feels like we just celebrated New Year's Eve. I swear time is speeding up. I mean, look at this photo of me last year. <laughs> and look at what I look like one year later. Oh my God, it's been a stressful year. Yeah, time is speeding up. <laughs> okay, speaking of time, we got to get into our way back time machine here again. More than a hundred years ago, the New York Times newspaper was about to open their new headquarters, the city's second tallest building, in what was then known as Long Acre Square. The paper's owner, Adolph Ox, decided to commemorate their opening with a midnight fireworks show on the roof of the building on December 31st, 1903. After four years of New Year's Eve fireworks celebrations, Ox wanted to draw more attention to the building and the newly renamed Times Square. So he decided to try something a little different. The very first New Year's Eve ball. It was made of iron and wood and was adorned with 100 25 watt light bulbs. It was five feet in diameter and weighed 700 pounds. It was built by a young immigrant metal worker named Jacob Starr. And you know how they lowered that big ball? Well, they did it with six guys, some really long rope and a stopwatch. <laughs> so on December 31st, 1907, the New Year's Eve ball drop was born. By 1920, the original ball was replaced with a five foot, 400 pound iron ball. That ball was used up until uh, 1955 when a third ball was introduced. It only weighed 150 pounds and was made out of aluminum. It was decorated with 180 light bulbs. In 1995, the aluminum ball was upgraded with a new aluminum skin, rhinestones and computer controls. By 1999, a crystal New Year's Eve ball was created to welcome in the new millennium. It weighed 1,070 pounds and measured uh, six feet in diameter and was covered with 504 Waterford crystal triangles with 168 halogen bulbs outside and 432 clearer and colored bulbs on the inside. It had strobe lights and spinning mirrors, spinning mirrors, ah, yeah. In honor of the ball drops, 100th anniversary, a sixth ball made its debut. It had a diameter of six feet and weighed in at 1,212 pounds. It used LED computerized lighting that produced over 16 million colors, but only consumed the electricity of maybe 10 toasters. Now that ball was only used once and a seventh ball was built and has been dropped on New Year's Eve ever since. Are you ready for this? It's 12 feet in diameter, weighs in at a whopping 11,875 pounds. It's double its previous size and hangs year round atop a one Times square in anticipation of the big night. All around the country in the US, people like to drop things to bring in the new year. Like in Frederick, Maryland, they have a giant key drop. This is to pay homage to uh, Francis Scott Key. He's the guy who wrote the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner and was from that town. In Vincennes, Indiana, a 500 pound watermelon rises high in the sky as midnight approaches and then they drop 17 watermelons. I don't know what the significance is of 17. In Easton, Maryland, they've got a crab drop. This thing is huge. Also in Maryland, Hagerstown, there's a donut drop. A giant paper mache donut is lowered four stories into a waiting coffee cup. And in Lebanon, uh, Pennsylvania, there's a bologna drop. <laughs> this is where they drop 20 10 pound blocks of meat. Yo, look out! <laughs> I know, actually, that'd be fun to see, wouldn't it? You got your wrench drop in Mechanicsville, Pennsylvania. That kind of makes sense. The possum drop in Tallapoosa, Georgia, in this town, which was once called Possum Snout, they lower a stuffed possum named Spencer. Then you've got your pickle drop in Mount Olive, North Carolina. They got a three foot glowing pickle. <laughs> just, uh, just insanity, man. I'm thinking though, shouldn't Mount Olive be dropping olives? Hmm. 
And in Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, they also have a pickle drop. Two towns dropping pickles on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Boise, Idaho has a potato drop. It's a giant 400 pound potato. Kind of makes sense. Idaho, potatoes, yeah. You got your flea drop. <laughs> Yeah, you heard right, a flea drop in Eastover, North Carolina. As the clock strikes midnight, a 30 pound ceramic flea is dropped and, and a cannon is fired. Traverse, Michigan has a cherry drop. That region in Michigan grows 75% of the nation's annual tart cherry crop. I guess that's why they drop a cherry. There's a beach ball drop in Bangor, Maine and a pineapple drop in Sarasota, Florida. I'm sure I've missed a few other crazy New Year's Eve drops. Things like uh, the wooden cow, <laughs> the stuffed goat, lollipops, uh, french fries, and a pretzel. Actually, uh, the pretzel is raised. <laughs> you got your pears and your pelicans, tacos and grapes, everything from a 19-foot illuminated chrome chili pepper to the big shoe drop that's got rope light laces. An 80 pound decorated cheese wedge, and we can't forget the 600 pound electronic moon pie in uh, Mobile, Alabama. But you know, we could be here for days if I talked more about what people drop on New Year's Eve. Maybe we should just drop a big bottle of booze. <laughs> Down our throats, that is. All right, let's drop everything now and make my version of a New Year's ball drop cocktail. First thing we want to do is grab some gin mare. And I love this gin, it's my new favorite gin. Uh, and you know, actually I've done a full review uh, in my November newsletter on Patreon. And it's the only place you can get it. So check it out. Um, what I like about gin mare though, is it's distilled from olives and uh, thyme and rosemary and basil. And it's just, it's just so silky. Now a lot of you might not like uh, gin. So you could use vodka, but I love the botanicals. Okay, we want one ounce. Three quarters of an ounce of uh, yellow chartreuse. So herbal. Domaine de Canton, that's our ginger liqueur. And a half an ounce. Now for some fresh lemon juice. I've got a half an ounce here. Yeah. Honey syrup, half an ounce. You know, honey syrup is pretty simple to make. Uh, just take equal parts honey and water, warm water that is, and just shake it up. If you want a little more bold flavor of honey, two parts honey, one part warm water. Again, shake it up. Let's add some ice and shake it into the new year. Ha. Ha. Yeah, you want a good shake? What else you got to do? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I've got this wonderful martini glass freezing in my freezer. And we're just going to double strain into our frozen glass here. And we got to do the ball drop, don't we? Ha. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What we got going on here is just a crystal ball of ice. Don't you love it? A little bit of cranberry juice, just a splash to color it up. Right over the ball. Yeah, isn't that nice? Let's check this out. That's pretty, isn't it? Oh, that's just good just on its own. But you know, it is New Year's Eve and I'm thinking we should actually add some champagne. Even though it's, it's an optional thing, but it is New Year's Eve and what would New Year's be without champagne? I've got this uh, crazy looking uh, sparkling wine from Italy, Voga. Um, kind of looks like body wash, doesn't it? <laughs> Smell like a wino. 
<laughs> All right, we're just gonna top this up. It's actually not a bad little product. It's uh, dry and we don't want a lot, maybe two ounces. Beauty. All right. New Year's Eve never looked so fine. Mm. It's lovely. It's refreshing. Um, it's perfect for New Year's. So if you haven't got any ideas <laughs> this year, make a New Year's ball drop cocktail. My version. Cheers. Mm. That is so refreshing. On behalf of myself and the crew here at Bar Talk and Cocktails, uh, I wish you a very, very happy new year and a very prosperous 2018. Cheers. Happy New Year, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm on Patreon now. Yeah. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to things that nobody else sees. You get bloopers. You get uh, podcasts, newsletters, and sneak peeks. You get a whole whack of stuff that you're going to love. So become one of my booze hounds and help support the show. This stuff gets expensive, and every little bit goes back into the show. Thanks in advance. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Oh, where's my clacker? Ha! <laughs> oh, thanks for watching. And uh, check out these other videos. And hit the subscribe button. <laughs> you won't regret it. Ha! We got lots more coming your way. I'll see you next year. Cheers. Mm -mm. Make this damn thing. It's good.